Hi, Vanessa Quiroz, Realtor with Century 21, and I'm here with Martin Valadez, the director of the Tri City Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Hi, Martin. Hey, how are you doing, Vanessa? Good. So, I want you to tell um, our community a little bit more about the Tri City Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and what you guys do in the community. Um, so, tell us why was the chamber created and what was its purpose? Right, so the chamber was created about 25 years ago, and as you know, there's other chambers in the community, but there was a gap, there was a need to better serve the Latino business owners and particularly immigrants and Spanish-speaking business owners. So actually the former, many years ago, uh, executive director of the Tri-Cities, I mean of the Regional Chamber of Commerce, brought together a number of business owners and said, hey, do you guys want to put together your own chamber to serve the community? So that's how it really started. Um, and you know, we're a chamber like everybody else. We're membership based. We um, also um, we have ribbon cuttings and all types of uh, sort of events. But in addition, one thing we do now that's a little bit different is we have some non-member grants that allow us to do small business advising and technical assistance uh, to any members of the, uh, the community. Not just, uh, not just members, anybody in the community, any member. So we're really able to now, with that funding, um, help as many people, anybody that wants to. And of course, one of the things that we, um, we do that other chambers don't do is that we have bilingual staff. Right. And now, Martin, I know you guys um, have lots of events and programs to help uh, those business owners. Tell us a little bit about the events that you guys host, um, as well as any events that are planned for the future. Right. So we have um, our typical luncheons, networking luncheons. We also have a few events um, to recognize members of the community that make a positive contribution. We have a big uh, uh, music and culture festival called our Mariachi and Moore Festival. And then lately we've also been having trainings and workshops in, in conjunction with state agencies like um, uh, the Office of Minority and Women-Owned Businesses um, and Commerce and others to help business owners learn about different opportunities that they have for grants, for loans, and also to become uh, certified business owners, minority and women business owners. So those are the things that we have. Uh, and moving forward, we want to continue to expand those because we want to make sure that small business owners, particularly those um, that are just starting that don't necessarily know as much, um, have access to those opportunities. So we've also been uh, partnering with um, what used to be PTAC uh, about its technical assistance for contracts, etc. So I think you touched based a little bit on how uh, you see the chamber um, changing moving forward. What are some things that you look forward to bringing onto the chamber? Right, so again, so right now we do technical assistance. We help start businesses. We help people with business plans and loans and, and applying for grants. But one, two things that I want to try to do and hopefully we'll get some funding in the future is one, have a person that really specializes in helping uh, individuals get through that application to become a minority or women certified businesses and also help with contracting with grants. As you know, there's a lot of uh, public funding out there, state, city, county, etc. And there's a lot of contracting opportunities. Uh, many uh, minority business owners really don't know about it, haven't taken advantage of it, so we want to help them. And it is a daunting task mm -hmm. at the beginning, so we know that first time around you might need some help. So I'd really like to bring somebody on board. And we do have, as I said, um, local uh, folks that do that, but um, it's just one person for right. like seven counties, so she can only do so much. So we want to help, and particularly with the um, with the minority and uh, immigrant communities and with Spanish-speaking community. So one other thing that I want to add and remind our viewer, your viewers, is that one, the tri Hispanic Chamber of Commerce is not just for Hispanics, mm -hmm. and that our events are in English. So you don't have to speak Spanish, uh, and uh, you don't have to be Hispanic to become part of our member, or, or become part of the chamber, or also to uh, take advantage of our services. We're here for everybody, we're here to serve the community. But again, we, wanna, we have a, a special skill set that uh, to make sure that not, nobody's left out. So everybody's welcome. Uh, and the other thing we also work on is we work with non-Latino businesses, mm -hmm. government agencies, nonprofit organizations to learn how to better serve the Latino community. So we're sort of also serve as a sort of cultural mediators. 
And if somebody wants to become a member, um, what can they do? So, well, their membership information is on our website. Mm -hmm. They can just look up Tri-City Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and it'll pop up. Or they can call our office here. The number is 509-542-0933. Again, 509-542-0933. Or they can stop by our office. Mm -hmm. We're open nine to five. Monday through Friday, and we're located at 1600 North 20th Avenue, Suite D.